Okay. Hello, everybody. Let's see. Welcome, everyone, to the audio video test for Skull Girls. Get great lab stream. We're going to answer some more questions. Hello, hello, hello. Right now, I'm just gonna. Who is playing? Beowulf. Ah. Oh. What's up, Ruby? Let's see. Yeah, from Griffin. Sure. Oh boy, yeah. So Leela. Up oh, and get the grip yeah, off in time. Unfortunate. Up, 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 up. Oh. And push back twice. That audio glitch is so weird. Way to work, nice. Good stuff. How would you do that? Oh, mashing? Okay. What's up, Tay? How goes it? Doing the thing right now. We're just playing some games while we wait for people to just kind of flood in. Hold this for me. You're mashing, of course. Even on screen, yeah. Oh, get out of here. Sure. Another version, nice. Nothing happened. What? Am 
point grab is literally better. Crazy. That's hecking crazy. Hey, 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 hey. Yeah, that's how I wanted. That's definitely not what I wanted. Out of crack should happen. Start grinding next week. Understandable. Ba -ba 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 -boosh. My JLP, nice. Yep. Yeah. Oh no. What? Cancel? No cancel? Really? Running. Yeah, I wanted my BFF, but I didn't get the auto correct correctly. I guess the auto correct correctly. <laughs> One more time. Bad, unfortunate. That's fair. Thanks. Thanks, Leela. Hold this for me. I'm there. Literally can't tech. <laughs> that thing is hard. Yeah. Is hard. What up? I mean, today we're gonna answer some questions from the Dangled uh, Discord, also uh, Twitch chat. Whatever questions y'all have, I can certainly answer. There's the lab stream questions we got going on. Now come here. <laughs> it's real, dude. Sure. Oh, ba -ba 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 -ba. You lucky? Sucks game. That sucks too. Bubba. I should take out. Ah, oh, game, please. Oh, game, what the? I don't fortune. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> 
I'm gonna reset your tilt, I guess. Give me a chance, dude. Don't give me a chance. Give me a chance. That's a knowledge check. <laughs> oh, I guess that was too much huh, at the end. I guess that was too much at the end. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> they were like nah <laughs> unfortunate true fortunate oh no longer available that's the same guy that's for sure ain't that glorious they were like nah you know what <laughs> i'm good <laughs> i know the winner dipped up to that oh my god no. <laughs> Preach. <laughs> the sub, Ruby. Appreciate you. Oh my god. <laughs> like I had enough of this. <laughs> Funny. Do a few more. You know what? <gasps> wow, Tay. Okay. Reach for the heck and tree sub. Thanks, man. This is the panic of saying which <laughs> Give me a chance. Listen, don't give me a chance. I'm gonna run away with it. <laughs> might be uh might be not I'll focus and then catch up and then y'all get to ask more questions. Yo, if there's anybody else, otherwise we'll just go straight into the... It's the double if it a live panic. <laughs> Who playing? What's... Is that him again? At life 64. Play this. This is, this is a good time. Team is cool. Just to get it, heard of them? Fair. Oh, oh, I apologize, friend. You just found him? Weird. They just started playing this, huh? Oh, that unfortunate. Press the button, no. I must make you want to play. Understandable. Have you know, have fun making combos and stuff. Oops, double oops. Oh, triple oops. Oh, 
that crossed. Oh, Lord. That's my unfortunate. Not bad. birthday party. I didn't mean to do that. Totally forgot that I used Horus already. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> One more time. Sorry, I'm out of lollipops. Nobody links. <laughs> Oh, bro. Oop, twist. Oh, that's how you do this. That's how you do this at all. Rip. Rip. I'm gone. Blue grip. Oh, rip. Oosh, missed the all bag rip. Oh no, game. Oh, George, like that. Don't break so much. Nice is cross? It's not. That's. Oh my god. That's fun. I don't know, dude. I don't know. It happened. It just happened. Just happened, okay? Oh, are they done? I guess so. Okay. What happened? What happened? Sometimes you hit me. Sometimes you hit a knuckle. <laughs> a car. A car. Getting sniped by car. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> Let's play this. <laughs> Let me give you a hint. Oh, strange things happen. Time to put on a show. Action. Give me Hey, hey. Good luck. What 
Come on. Simply the best poking option. It's an option. That's mad unfortunate. Okay. Ba -ba 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 -ba. It was not drill at all. That was what I did was exactly what I did. And it was not supposed to be a drill. It was supposed to be sent hard kick. Yeah. I did it on purpose. Four minutes until we start. One more one. Quiet on the set. But tip uh yeah. spin the bar. Ah, uh, we spin the bar. Weird. <laughs> My brain. <laughs> no, I just think about the game a lot. Uh, true. Which one? Josh is what you look I'll check. Point point double fuck about yeah, old old is Philly uh double or I guess it depends on which order, but do this one more and we'll start the stream. How does, it, uh, how does the lab stream stuff work anyways? Uh, so you get to ask questions and I'll get to be able to answer them by doing some practical things in the lab. Um, and also be pulling from the pool of questions in the lab stream chat. Lab stream question. Heck in the Josh is this. Uh, what's my red? Yes. I just up to... Who can drill? No. What? When you sound a fuss, basically, yeah. I want to say L bomber, but I'll play M. Sure. I mean, you use your only meter, though. Sure. 
We'll do, we'll do one more. One more. One more. Seven to one. One more one. I'm gonna go, but... Alright, GG's. Let's start the stand-up stream. Welcome everybody to, to the great lab stream version. So we're gonna take some questions from Twitch chat, take some questions from the Dangle Discord, and answer them effectively as we can. So, usually this is solo. GG's, dude. Um, let's start by... Discord. So there's there's kind of a redundant question we had over here. It uses a PBGC. Um, if you look back at other lab streams, uh, I explain what PBGC is and you know the ways of being able to elaborate or being able to navigate that kind of thing. Um, if you need more elaboration, we could probably do it in a private chat or something like that. I have trouble understanding why I am getting hit. Um, usually, if there's an issue with you getting hit, honestly, this is self-explanatory. You don't really have to go into the lab for this. Um, you. Check your blocking stances, see if you're getting hit high or low, or you're, if you're just not teching because you're being too defensive. That's how that goes. Um, hopefully it's not an issue with your controller, or if it's just like something that's some sort of mix that you're, you know, attempting to get out of and it's kind of difficult to navigate. That's something you just have to kind of set up in the lab and then practice against yourself. Um, you know, just be able to block whatever kind of mix it is. Usually 50-50s, you know, 50-50s are hard, so you just kind of have to guess. <coughs> Excuse me. And the more you do it, the more you get used to it. How oh, that is, really. That's just the nature of the game. And just nature of how you, how you do things. How can I convert what I learn in the lab into matches? This I can absolutely explain. And I'll just put these two against each other. How can I convert what I learn in the lab into matches? Uh, I can make a combo of nine in the lab, but in real matches, I hesitate too much and don't do well. That's from King Spectre. Um, so definitely, the lab is way different than actually playing in a real life scenario where you're getting you're against another person and you're trying to figure out that person's quirks and you know what's going on with what they're doing um, biggest thing if you're learning combos uh try to be consistent at them um because the more you're consistent at it the more you can ingrain it into your muscle memory and it's fine for the most part um normally when we tell you to go practice combos in the dango lab um we tell you to do them at least five times if this is if this is something that you're still new to so like um Let's say Fuku was shadowless, maybe, right? Oh, 
and that's just a mid screen and there's a ton of different variations of this shadowless mid screen um we tell you to do this five times in a row if you fail once you go back to the beginning and try to do it another five times the more you're able to do this consistently the more you're able to land it the more that it's in your muscle memory and the more you don't have to think about it because at, and when you reach higher levels there's less brain power that's actually going on and most of it just kind of lands you in muscle memory territory so you just kind of just kind of going it's just it's in your muscle memory you don't even have to think about it it's just you're doing it because you know where the buttons are supposed to be you know where at what height that this character is supposed to be at it um so easiest way just do it five times in a row um, if you're managing to be able to consistently do it five times in a row, do it ten times in a row. Get more consistent at it. Um, in real matches, you got nerves. There's the online thing. There's there's the online aspect of it where, you know, it's a couple frames off. And you have to get used to what it's like to play online. And it's totally different from playing offline, so that's a whole different thing to get used to. Um, so the more that you kind of expose yourself to the situations, the more you're able to pick up on... Maybe this right here, I'm not being able to do it right because because of these select factors. This game has so many heckin' variables, like any other fighting game, right? Um, but yeah, if you wanna if you wanna convert what you got to be consistent in the lab into a real match, do your combos five times over. Also, break it up into chunks because sometimes combos are long. Combos are long. You just keep you you kind of sometimes you kind of can't keep up with so like for like for this shadowless combo right maybe that's a chunk maybe that's a chunk maybe that's a chunk it, it all kind of depends on like your speed and how much you pick it up with so normally we just kind of go here's the yeah here's your chunk right here and just practice that practice those a couple times make sure you get consistent at that and then you just kind of have to piece it together bit by bit before you can land a full combo so combos can get super long super long so if you can bite size like take it in bite sizes that'll make you that'll go a long way for you so that's definitely how i kind of approached it uh, i definitely did it in chunks because i'm like combos get super long and execution can kind of increase like wildly see how do big man parry wake up a parry os setups work uh, what's up oh, juice go go for it you had a question what's up on the combo point what's up what do you think about combo consistency how do you decide to do say an easy combo for ak or a hard one for like 200 more um in my experience all the hard combos are actually less damaged than any of the easy combos that i've ever made um and yeah it also depends on the situation um the, what how it what determines if it's worth it or not is like how many reset points you have a how many reset points you have b how hard is the combo actually c does it net you anything that a normal just straight up standard bnb would net you um so i mean for the most part that's kind of what dictates it um in the case of like when i was practicing philia um and i was getting used to how philia works right um this this is a combo i i do every now and again so here's a standard bmb right That's the standard BNB, right? Um, here's a combo that I decided to practice instead. Yeah, that's not that much more damage. Um, you get more damage if you do a, an extra M, M Spire, right? Um, but like, I wanted to learn this for the swag to see if it was possible. And that's hard. That's hard um it's not exactly this is not a good combo honestly if we're, if we're talking about for real for real this combo's awful this combo's second awful and that's that's hard to reach um 
but yeah um combo's hard it's not exactly worth it it doesn't really do much besides this you did this like you, you do this kind of get the same normal reset that you would if you just did this same thing just different routing um so yeah uh it's not worth it it doesn't really not do anything different aside from looking extremely stylish um and sometimes you just want stylish combos right sometimes you just want stylish um but it doesn't really do anything that the norm that the standard bnb would would do you so honestly it's not worth it um in certain situations it's just cool to end with It does give you more carry, if anything. Because you can dash up and actually push yourself further. Um, but it's it's not worth it, honestly. I just like it because it looks cool. And it's a cool conversion to have this happen, right? It looks cool. Yeah. But necessarily, you wouldn't, you wouldn't have it do anything... You know, if it's not doing anything that a normal combo would do, just keep it simple. Honestly, keeping it simple gets you a long way. Um, if you're going with Robo Thanks, right? Robo Thanks. This is the combo that I do. Yeah, harder harder stuff usually is either sometimes for higher damage or for style points or for like. This is her combo. This is her combo. It's really not great. Really not great. There's this combo. Which is hard. And it doesn't net you anything better than what her normal BNB does, but it looks cool. Her harder combos are more optimal in this case because there's less, less of the multi hits multi hitting moves that are going on um they have extremely horrible delays though so like um that takes a little bit of execution to just just a lot of practice that's kind of just what that takes um if you want to do optimal for uh robo fortune damage you have to do the harder combos unfortunately um that's just kind of how that is um, and you just kind of just have to get consistent at it. Otherwise, you're just it's an oof for the character. I am Tay. When it, when a combo drops, is it worth trying to tech chase, or should I try to reposition? When a combo drops, as in you drop the combo, uh, you drop the combo. It is now not your turn anymore, so you should be blocking. In fact, um, so you should not not be trying anything except for trying to reposition yourself. No worries. Repositioning is honestly better for you because otherwise you might put yourself in a bad position um, where you most likely would be more minus than you would would be, uh, which is not great. Not a great. Uh, let's say if we got this right here, and then they have an attack. I guess you could tech chase. Um, Robo is one of those characters that if you tech chase, right, actually really good for you because you can you can I can. Tech chase, you get a 50 50 off of that, so it's always pretty good. Um, what is the situation that happened? I'll be great. I'm gonna have that time stamp die for me. Yes, I can, I can reference it. By the way, this is this is a really, really sick thing that you can do with Rebel Fortune. If I can get the spice it right. You get a burst fade off of this? Possible. Burst fade. 
Uh, and if they even if they don't burst it, it's for you. And they also put them full screen, so then you go back to zoning. Hey, later. Good gamer. That was really good. <laughs> JLK okay, would make it easier, yeah. It's just, it's specific spacing. Specific spacing when you're in mid-screen, so it's kind of harder. That's fair, yeah. So let me see. Oh, come on, dude. Time set. One twenty Is that the time step? 12052? What is the time step? 4513, sorry. Ba -ba 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 -boosh. So you did the car uh, with the grippy right there. Um, that wasn't meaty grab. So honestly, the fortune could have woken up with anything and punished you really hard for it. Um, I would have I would have backed up just slightly just to kind of give give yourself the extra spacing so you can challenge anything that you need to. Otherwise, normally wouldn't be grabbing on the opponent's wake up. Right? It wasn't, and the shimmy kind of really didn't do much for you. Um, so, in that regard, after the double came in, you got the air, the air grab? Oh, let me see. Let me see. After the air grab? That one puts it after the air grab. But, but. Oh, in this situation, if you did the grab and they teched out, yeah, tech chasing is okay here. After the air grab is fine. So you did this here. We killed a fortune. You did jab, jab. Really do much. Great positioning. You whiffed, you went for the, it wasn't really a tech chase, but you hit low. Um, but tech chasing in this case is actually kind of a good idea if they try to tech out. It's a free pressure for you because it's up to them to be able to react to your tech chase. So I'd say that was a, that'd be fine, really. Should I be practicing resets as, as much as combos or can they be a lot more on the fly? Combos need to come first before you even try resets because resets are complicated in, them, in and of themselves. Getting your combo consistency down pat first is more is most important so that you can follow that up with resets so you know where to drop in this combo i have this many hits where i drop and then i can reset pretty much is there much worth in tech chasing uh there is a lot of worth in, in tech chasing because it's it's basically 50 50 for the the opponent so if, if you're tech chasing them they they have to block high low throw that's 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 just hard for them um they're just put into a situation that's just kind of rough for them Especially after purple bounce so yeah they can block after tech but they still have to block whatever it is that you're setting up so that's just kind of on them um kind of like kind of like gold burst setups they're 50 50s yeah uh big band parry wake up parry os setups i actually don't know parry os setups but like essentially it really is just pressing forward on your wake up or their wake up and then doing DP or brass or whatever the heck. So, I mean, it's just press forward, do DP. That's your OS. It's really easy. Uh, don't know where to be in neutral. That's from Sheep. Uh, oh, the last one was from ISO. Uh, that's from Sheep. Um, 
if you don't know where to be neutral, it kind of depends on the characters that you're playing, um, because every character has their kind of positioning where they want to be or not. Robo Fortune kind of wants to be full screen, even though when she's not, because it's hard. But throwing out beamless is really good. You kind of will be doing that for the most part. That's your thing with Robo. That's where she wants to be in neutral. If she gets put into the mid screen, that she wants to be going following up with jabs, double jabs or lows, uh, doing one of these into this, and then converting and stuff, or doing this into this so they can convert. That kind of thing. Uh, depends on the character. I'm um, there. Are, quote unquote archetype because a lot of characters now kind of don't have an archetype now or at least a specific archetype um but to yeah how do i practice beating out neutral assists while being rushed down by the point character how to example given bayo jhp into brass uh huh that is a complex setup uh so let's say we'll say if we're playing right Depending on the kind of assists you have, the kind of characters that you're playing against, that kind of thing. Um, I'll do a filia, discuss. So, playing Beowulf JHP with Brass. Doom that's H Brass. Katsu has that, yeah. This. Basically that, right? So there's a way around this. Something like that. Weep, yeah. If you can anticipate it, but like kind of normal thing to do is DP and then do do a, a super that will get you out of that situation it's hard though this is hard not like this is easy this is just for Philly by the way It. but yeah um play to your character strengths if you see the jhp coming out and you see the brass follow-up do the dp and because gregor is usually gonna likely gonna save you like this depending on how you how you time it correctly no the reason you would do sweep because sweep breaks armor sweep breaks armor Is it possible to convert up sweep? There are only certain situations that you can convert off of sweep. Sweep is only convertible if it, there's OTG. So like we'll say right here, like uh, that's that's the only way. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm personal, you know. Yeah. The only way to convert off a sweep is if you have the OTG. Um, so that's and that's the the purple bounce you see right there, or pink. I call it purple. Uh, but yeah, that. Um, well, Philly is also a very fast character, so she requires she requires that you have hands. Like no joke, it does require that you have hands. It's not like this is easy. Honestly, I make it look easy, but this is not easy. <laughs> And sometimes you have this happen, which is kind of rough. Rip, but yeah. Sometimes you just kind of have to have ants. True. I can take that now. Uh, how would you deal with that as Fuqua? Uh, Fuqua is almost easier, actually. Just a 
It was the easiest, in fact, because she's got she's got no hurtbox and CHP, so you just you no know, hitbox into 19 frames of involved. Book was, in fact, the easiest. So, <laughs> book was kind of easy. Yeah, I get I get <laughs> hit out of two HP each time. It's just it's a it's just the timing. You just have to figure out the timing. You might be doing it too late. It's pretty easy. Yeah. Just, just gotta fin uh, finagle yourself around with the timing. Oh, yeah. Um, is slide like anti-zoning? Slide is not anti-zoning. Oh, anti-zoning? Eh, it's not really anti-zoning. Really, is it's not a it's not a tool for anti-zoning. Really, it's just a tool to annoy your opponent. So doing this into this, this into this. It's it's these are all tools to just to annoy your opponent. Um, that's what they're meant for. If you get a conversion, cool. This happens, cool. You get a conversion, awesome. But they're not anti-zoning tools, really. Um, you you can anti-zone, but it's not like it's easy. So if you're up against the peacock like this, you have to place your you have to place your fireballs very consistently and very easily. What, like this? What, sweep as an anti-tool? An anti-zoning tool? This for anti-zoning? Is that what you're saying? Also true. Yes, try live and get some recording because yeah, you can vary up the timings and stuff. Oh, Peacock does that. Peacock does that. Yeah, but yeah, Peacock does that, of course. Yeah, this is just an approach tool. It's just an approach tool. Um, but if you're if you're going up against a Peacock, Peacock's gonna win your your sweep versus their sweep. Um, so this is where shadows and spires would help in that case because you can. It's just a projectile that you can confirm off of. Excuse me. Um, but yeah, let's see. We got, let's see, we got to run from Bilinos. Does it hurt too much to change teams regularly? Uh, I like changing, but I feel like it may impact my performance on the long term. Um, as someone who is the roster main, uh, someone who plays almost every character in the game. Um, I say almost every character because I have Peacock, but I refuse to play her. <laughs> um, but yeah, as someone who plays... Uh, everyone in um, in the cast, it's like you want something locked down so you have some sort of consistent matchup that you know how to deal against or deal with, I should say, and fight against. That's better. Um, so if if it's like you're you're a Valentine, let's say we'll, let's say this, you're you're Squiggly, Squiggly with. Oh. And we're playing this right this is the team that you're settled on cool so there's you know the, the team that you're playing against has a certain matchup appeal um there's certain ups and downs to this swiggly kind of kind of struggles because of her mobility um she's the better she's literally a better character if you get her charges so then she has an easier time against cerebella cerebella who is the hecking privileged character of the game um but like, it depends on it determines on the kind of assist that you have if you've got m shadow with swiggly you're enabled you can do this shenanigans. Well, this kind of trivializes your matchups. Yeah, so Twiggly with M Shadows enabled, so you can get those kinds of mixies. Um, so then that kind of trivializes the matchup for you. Um, but like it depends. If you've got something consistent that you'd like to work on with, it's, it doesn't hurt to mess around. Um, but you want something locked down so that you can have something consistent to work with. If that makes any sense. Does that make sense? <laughs> yeah. By the way, this is fun. This right here is fun. This is this this, this is the good stuff. That's so that's so fun. Doing that makes it so fun. Just saying. If y'all wanna wanna steal that, go for it. That makes it so fun. <laughs> Let's see. What if ever do you put plush put block put oh god push block against peacock zoning? Okay. Wow, so let's see. What? Okay. Here? 
can I do this from left side? Can I do this? I'm gonna have to do this from the, from the left side because it's easier. Lord. this right this is kind of hard this is rough there you go and suddenly you're in usually it's 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 the i did i pushed block yeah i pushed block That's how you do that. Um, do you push block against the H item, or you put push block against the um, the push block against the again H item drop, or you push block against the H item? So that's kind of how easy it is to get through. It's because Peacock varies all their timings. Peacock players vary all their timings. They use different assists. They put things right in the middle of that dead zone. That's how you do that. That's how you get out of it. It's very easy. Um, they say it's easy like this, right? you could do this it depends yeah it's very easy if you introduce assists it becomes infinitely harder so you have you wait for the assist you wait for the item drop push block try to get through it pretty much and it, this is all depends, yeah, because each projectile that you keep, you know, getting put yourself into a situation with, it's kind of rough. So you kind of want to get out of it as soon as you can. Um, but yeah, push blocking like that, kind of how it helps you. Push block the H item or the item drop, depending on where you're at. Um, once you introduce it, says it's just infinitely harder. So you kind of have to guess the timings at that point. If the block, if you've got brass, try to call brass so you can have the meat shield in front of you. If you've got any other things, you know, there's ways around it. It's just harder. You can try to sweep brass and then call your assist to be able to get in on the peacock. It's rough. H item and H item drop is not the same thing. Oh, no, I mean H George. That's what I mean. H item drop H George. That's what I mean. Um, because I guess George is an item. Type, you know, that is how you would do that. Essentially, it's this. That's very simplified. Once you get into the nuance of assist, it's infinitely much harder and. I don't have the time to describe that, unfortunately. <laughs> oh, so last question. Yeah, if they start coming back to back, it's a lot harder. So that's when you have to kind of gauge the timing and then gauge the kind of assist that they're working with. Uh, last question. That was from J Dog, by the way. Last question we got right here. Not sure. A lot of my problem is execution that I think I need to work on. That's fair. Execution just takes time and consistency, you know. Um, yes, P would not be as good as she is if she wasn't able to vary her timings or have assists. Yeah, this is not a simple solution, by the way. This is not easy. So, <laughs> by no means, because every peacock is just going to be aware of that, you know, this is what this is. So, they're going to vary up their timings. They're going to do something different. They're going to dash, going to call M item, dash up, call assist, that kind of thing. So, if you just straight up, if it's just straight up this... This is very easy, but it's like no peacock is ever this way ever. So <laughs> that is how simply you can get past it. But with assist, it's totally different. Um, a divas actually, I think it's a divas made made a video um, called "Getting Past the or Navigating the Garbage" that is on YouTube that kind of deals with peacock zoning. So. Have I seen much LD gameplay? Uh, I actually played against LD. I can probably upload my matches and stuff. It's not Peck. It's a it's it's a Peck. It's a Peck or a, a Divas. Harvers P zone. I don't remember. Is 
the pack? Pack? Hmm. Yeah, go for it, go. I can't remember where it was. This pack? Okay. I wasn't sure if it was Pekka or Divas. Um, do you think that the way he applies para neutral is applicable to a mid range focus para? It's more applicable just kind of to a long range focus para, if anything, because he uses tear toss like a madman. And the, he kind of does it at almost any range. He's got a very consistent play. So it's like. How do I deal with Phileas shenanigans that's Parasol with no DP assist? I want to down bag, but that gets smoked and she gets in on me very easily. That you are not aware of the options that you have as Parasol, friend. If that's the case, you're just sitting there down backing. You're not aware of the options that you have against the Philia. Oops. Back. I'm trading. Whoop. Philia gets smoked by so many things very easily. This is such a good hitbox. This is such a good hitbox. You could round start this against Affiliate and get your confirm. Just like in bam, bam, there it is. That's really easy. Um, this, super easy for any of, of the approaches that you got going on right here. Bam, bam, this. This is actually actually also really good to get up above Affiliate. That's how you deal with soul, parasol. This into L tier destroys Philia approach. Even just normal jab is really good. Damn medium punch, he goes to whiff. These are very, very easy things. Also just doing back guy. You have to be aware of your grounded options. Up backing is not always the solution. Down backing is not always the solution. Stand heavy punch, really good. Crouch medium punch, really good. The sword character, stand medium punch, really good. Jab, really good. <laughs> this, this into whiff button, just whiff buttons into tier. It's really good. <laughs> so like, this is applied to Fortune as well from Upshot. Yeah, yeah. LD does this a lot. Yeah. LT toss, really good. Really hit good. Like this, this here. Doing that stuff, you can kill approaches. Pretty good. Pretty dang good. You have to be aware of your your normal buttons on, on the ground, friend. So give those a practice the next time you find you fight Aphilia, because that's kind of how you kill their approach very easily. But yeah, I think those are all the questions that we've got so far. Unless anybody else has in the chat, I think I'm gonna end stream where I'm at. Have a question? What's up? What's the one that you asked earlier? I missed it. This is applied to fortune. Yes, this applies to fortune as well from the L shot. Yes, this us. Many people can easily get in on my robo zoning, and I don't know. I'm zoning wrong. The character beats the zoning well. If there's a matchup, I don't know if. Um, it depends on the consistency of your zoning, really. Um, it's kind of oof. You have to. I'll do it against Big Bang because it's easier to say. So it depends on the consistency of your zoning. How, how fast or how slow you are, because easiest, easiest way to do this. That's kind of your zoning pattern, pretty much. So, this, this, jump version, jump version, this, jump version. And with buttons to kind of just like, for your own sake. You're depressed something because she's fast? Um, game is fast. You can be faster. You press pre you can press preemptively. It's not like it's bad. Yes, you have to stop them. Uh, how do you use your assist to approach? Like my team, I'm playing Paraclide with HLNL. Sometimes approaching it feels impossible. You are not using your assist correctly. Not to say that. You're doing something wrong. I'm just saying the reason for your assists. So what do you what do you have for parasol? What's the parasol assist? 
You're not zoned with H beam? Is it primarily L and M? It's primarily L and M. You you do H beam to just kind of I'll shut up. Yeah. You do H beam to kind of vary up your zoning timings. Um so this lock and low what was it? What did you see? Missed it. Pat Slide and longer. So we'll We have parasol to the house. Lock and load. We'll just put it up against my hick and double team. Ah. Okay. Well, approaching feels impossible. Uh, you're the zoning character. You don't have to. the zoning character should you do this i mean you could, you could change it up but it's not like not like you have to approach because you're the zoning character do things on your own terms um they have to come into for you um zoning is is your kind of way of just like annoying the opponent into making making a mistake and then you can just bait with buttons and stuff uh, and that's when you do Should we be focused on what? Folk, mm, I shouldn't. Don't let it be the main focus, but remember that it's part of your toolkit. It is the part of the toolkit that's important to Parasol and, and annoying your opponent. So definitely have more awareness that this is the kind of tool that you can use to be able to get in on your opponent because you're baiting them into making a mistake. Does that make sense? Noticed. I feel like people are too rigid on the concept of characters. Yes, too rigid. All of these characters actually are all, they're all kind of different. They're all different and they all also kind of play the same. So like you do have to be aware of the swap, but it's like, this is definitely the sword character. Yes, she can do some zoning. She can also do some, some rushdown. This character is fast as heck. People say she's slow, but she's actually really fast. One of the fastest dashes in the game. Heck, you can get in on someone very easily. Like, bruh, you can get on someone super easily. Double, one of the fastest all-arounders in the game. She can also zone. She can zone, she can space, it's really good. Confirm from long ranges, bruh. Super good. Ekin, this is the grappler, quote-unquote, the grappler of the game. But it's not like she can't move either, so you've got to know, be aware of your Ekin jump arcs. And be aware of the kind of spacing and momentum jumping you have to get used to. It's not like she can't move. In fact, she can. Bruh. She can move. You just need to move faster. Like, dude. Quote, unquote, yes. We, I did that with massive air quotes. Grappler. <laughs> so, <laughs> but yeah. You have to be very aware of the swap. Of the things that, you know, the, the characters that you're playing. So it's like, you gotta be aware. Some characters are, can be zoners, but it's not like they are zoners. Some characters can be rushdown, but it's not like, like they did. It's not like they are a rushdown. Too rigid. This game is super free, free flowy. So, as soon as you can get past that wall, I think it's pretty dang good. Yeah. You have any more questions? Otherwise, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm gonna call it there. How do I beat mix? Block. Depends on the mix. If it's a 50-50, you have to put yourself into the situation in the lab and learn to block 50-50. <laughs> I was told not to super. Uh, not mashing. Listen. Mashing is serviceable to you when you feel like it's the right decision that you can make in the moment. Otherwise, you're more than likely going to die. So... <laughs> I would suggest not using the resource that you have if you can at all because PBG P push block is super strong in this game and push block guard cancel is also super strong as well. Nice for Horus for the Eliza mix after Horus. Yes, push block at the right time. Honestly, do that. That is more serviceable to you than wasting the bar. How I get good at not being bad? Play the game some more. Pretty much. The tutorial, the wiki. Check out the wiki. Use all the resources that you have, you know, you're hacking uh, at your disposal.
Uh, and a voice for a horse. Why is it makes after horse? One after you go under them and do the JLK JHP. You mean the heckin' um, the uh, Lord Air Dash? That thing? After Lord Air Dash, we'll do this. Blah, blah, blah. Yes. Lord Air Dash. It's Lord Air Dash. That's what that is. How do you find the right time? That's what you gotta practice. Put yourself into a block string and try to push block. Practice push block. The team like this, do you think I can apply the LD neutral pretty well? Uh, yeah, sure. I don't think it takes a specific kind of team, is it? It just kind of takes a specific kind of mind, like in mindset. After Horus, you dash under them, then the. Oh, this. And yeah. That. That's Lord Air Dash. That is still Lord Air Dash. You're just doing it in reverse. Yeah, you just gotta do the same things for the, the schmixie. Yeah, it is. It, it is a Lord Air Dash. Yeah. Do we have any more questions? I will end it. Otherwise, yeah. Uh, parry grab. Could I parry grab against the setup of mine? Where you do the heckin' uh, was it the heckin' flesh step mix? OS means option select. Uh, also, exclamation mark terms. If there's something you don't understand, a list of terms so you get to. At least I think that works. It's supposed to work. Uh, you can parry it, but the problem is that you then have to deal with what Double's doing on the other side. So then you have to parry high or low. So it's almost not worth parrying as it is just kind of trying to do a DB. <laughs> parry OS is not something for that. Questions anymore? Prove the wiki, yeah. You get the opponent off you? Um, as Rebel, for Rebel Fortune, getting the opponent off you, push block. Because the reversal options are not necessarily the greatest thing. So you can. You can, most Robo Fortunes will go with this because they say that this is a reversal. No, this is just a normal with one hit of armor, not a reversal. You do this, you're liable to get smoked by multi-hitting moves and stuff. So you gotta be careful. Um, honestly, push block. Just push block. Push block. It's got one hit of armor. One hit of armor. So push block, up forward, helicopter. Get out of the corner. You wanna up forward out of your shenanigans. Yes, it also loses to grab, yeah. Loses the grab, loses the sweep. What should you end your your strings with, Eliza? You should not be ending strings, to be honest. You should be going from light to medium and trying to, to go no further. If you do, you're liable to get push block. You already canceled. Not a good time. You don't necessarily want to go past medium, so you actually want to crouch out, crouch out, crouch medium punch. And if you're, I guess if you're going to end with something, um, you want to do L Spiral. Hmm. 
this. You want to end of that because that's minus two. It's minus two. Hard to block. Here we go. That's also minus two. So you could actually doing this is really good. So yeah. Some examples of Fuku Fukua any robo pressure. I do not have example. Uh one last thing. When you're studying gameplay, what's the best way to apply stuff? You like your gameplay. Um, so just look back at your replays. Write down the notation. Um, because replays are kind of they're okay in 12 rows, but um if you're going through stuff, right? Extras. Going through something with say, let's say here, right? Have have this so you're going through a replay. Hit light kick to be able to enable the inputs and stuff. You say you like the way that card did that heckin' conversion from XLML to Dynamo, right? Cool. I can you can you can pause. Go back you go back with with heavy punch. And just kind of write down the notations. You can also slow it down with stand medium kick. With medium kick. That's how you slow down. But you can write down write down things from replays and then just kind of try to incorporate it into your own stuff. So there's something cool that you see that you like, you know, you, you got tools to slow down and kind of take it as you as you will. But yeah. I think with that. Thanks everybody for the questions. I appreciate it. And my sister, should you use with that team? Listen, I'll, I'll answer you afterwards because I need to get going. I appreciate you though. If you'd like to see more schedules from us, we got Scar Girls. Be great every Wednesday at 7 p.m. EST. And actual schedules get great at uh, every second Saturday at 7 p.m. EST. It's not a lab stream. Thank you all for stopping by. Um, DM me your question, Mace Rap, so I don't forget. Thanks, everybody. See you all next time.